I hear bells a ringing, I hear birds a singing. Love's gonna live here again. I hear bees a humming, and I know the days are coming. Love's gonna live here again. Love's gonna live here. Love's gonna live here. Love's gonna live here again. No more loneliness, only happiness. Love's gonna live here again. Love's gonna live here again. Buckaroo, old uh, Buck Owens, and love's going to live here again. This is Pioneers of Country. We're broadcasting live. Thank you very much for tuning in here to Live 365. Not very often do you hear a live show uh, on Sunday, January 20th, 2013. Thank you very much for, for doing that. You can contact me. My email address is dave at pioneersofcountry.com. I'd like to hear from you. Dave at pioneersofcountry.com, or if you're listening in a live 365 player window, there's a little uh, shout out window, send note, pop it up there, send something. Maybe it's something you want to hear in the next half hour or so that we'll be here live, and we'll go back to some great pre recorded playlists. Well, we had a great show today, and uh, this show will, uh, if you missed most of it or any of it, you can hear a replay of this show at some point, maybe later today, maybe in about four hours from now. I'll try to get it up there, I'll do the best I can. It will be on a link uh, or the website, www.pioneersofcountry.com. It's a podcast page, pioneersofcountry.com. And we did a show, live show yesterday, and that one's up there, so you can listen to that. Also, we had a great time, heard for some great friends, and we heard for some great friends today. And so that's the way that goes. And we, as we mentioned earlier, uh, on this day, January 20th, in 1958, Elvis, Elvis Presley himself, got a little U.S. mail this day with greetings from Uncle Sam. <laughs> the draft board in Memphis, Tennessee, ordered the king to report for duty, and Elvis, uh, being a patriot, did his duty. He went in the army. He could have got out, uh, and he could have got a, you know, uh, deferment, and he could have did the uh, singing and all that, but he marched with the rest of the boys. He was just one of the boys. He was a country boy. Elvis. There'll be none other, ne never will there ever be another Elvis. And here he is now. <laughs> Well, that long black train got my baby and gone. Train, train, coming round, round the bend. Train, train, coming round the bend. Well, it took my baby, but it never will again, no, not again. Train, train, coming down, down the line. Train, train, coming down the line. Well, it's bringing my baby, cause she's my own, oh, oh, my, she's my own, oh, oh, my. Coming round, round the bend. 
Well, it took my baby, but it never will again, never will again. It's Elvis Mystery Train, Pioneers of Country with me, Dave. Here he is, the father of bluegrass music, Bill Monroe. Oh, the people would come from far away. Till the break of day When the caller hollered do si do You knew Uncle Pin Was ready to go Late in the evening About sundown How on the hill Of the town Uncle Pin Played the fiddle On highway brain You could hear it talk You could hear it sing An old piece called Soldier Joy And one he told Boston Boy The greatest of all was Jenny Lynn To me that's where Finn and begin Late in the evening about sundown High on the hill above the town Rock up and play the fiddle Lord high would ring You could hear it talk You could hear it sing <laughs> Forget that mournful day when Uncle Finn was called away. They hung up his fiddle, they hung up his bow, they knew it was time for him to go. Late in the evening, about sundown, high on a hill above the town, Uncle Finn played the fiddle, Lord High would ring. You could hear it talk, you could hear it sing. What a pioneer he was, Bill Monroe and the Bluegrass Boys and Uncle Penn. I love it when uh, country music singers do uh, tributes to pioneers like that. Leona Williams, the... Uh, ex-wife of Merle Haggard, did a tribute to Bill Monroe. It was called The Legend. Here it is now. He came down from Kentucky to make his home in sunny Tennessee. He had something different to offer at the Grand Ole Opry. All dressed up in his suit and tie, his white hat and his mandolin in hand. He came here to Nashville with a bunch of boys he called his bluegrass band. He's a legend and a hero in the world of bluegrass music we all know. From Maine to California, his music sure to steal the show. His songs will chill you to the bone and make you dance each time the fiddles play. He's the father of our bluegrass from Kentucky, and his music's here to stay. He'd sing high as heaven and everybody listened to what he'd say. And the song about his Uncle Finn, everybody knew he was the king. Keep on shining on the man that we all know Cause when it comes to bluegrass The greatest name of all is Bill Monroe He'd sing high as heaven And everybody listened to 
it sing And the song about his Uncle Pin Everybody knew he was the king He always wore his Sunday feathers and held a Tommy Hall. The maiden wore her beads and braids and hoped someday he'd talk. Collide you Too stubborn to ever show a sign. Because his heart was made of knotty pine. Poor old Collide he never got a kiss. Is any wonder that his face is red? Elijah, that poor old wooden head. Elijah was a lonely Indian, never went nowhere. His heart was set on the Indian maid with the coal black hair. Elijah just stood there and never let it show. So she could never answer yes or no. And then one day a wealthy customer bought the Indian maid and took her oh so far away, but old Elijah stayed. Elijah. Just stand there as lonely as can be And wishes he was still an old pine tree Oh, Elijah, he never got a kiss Oh, Elijah, he don't know what he missed Is he any wonder that his face is red Elijah, that poor old wooden head Hank Williams and Kalaja on Pioneers of Country with me, Dave. Our next artist, Billy Lance Swan, was born May 12, 1942, an American songwriter and singer best known for his 1974 single, I Can Help. Swan was born in Cape Girardeau, Missouri. As a child, he learned drums, piano, and guitar, and began writing songs. His first big break was in 1962 when Clyde McFadder recorded Lover Please, a song written by Swan when he was in a local band called... Uh, Mert Murley and the Rhythm Stoppers, <laughs> and uh, which he had first been recorded uh, by Bill Black. A McFadder's version quickly became number seven, a number seven pop hit. After that, Swam uh, moved to Memphis to work with him, and uh, that was uh, cut short by uh, Black's illness and subsequent death in 1965. He was also a time worked on Elvis Presley's Graceland Estate. And then he moved to Nashville, which enabled him to write hit country songs for numerous artists, including Conway Twitty, Waylon Jennings, and Mel Tillis. In 1969, Billy Swan first took on the role of a record producer, producing Tony Joe White's top ten hit, Poke Salad Annie. Uh, Swan also became uh, played uh, a bass player for Chris Christopherson, and then uh, signed on as a solo recording deal with the Monument Records. Here he is, Billy Swan from 19... 